Hello there, back with more blush, surprise, surprise. Were you looking for cream blush by any chance? Some new formulas, brands you've seen on social media, you're in the right place. I could talk about this category all day, so I turned it into the Cream Blush Chronicles series. I've previously covered matte cream blushes with longer wear time, dewy blushes for a healthy glow, lip and cheek multitaskers to keep it simple, but this time we're focusing on nine new cream and liquid launches, helping you navigate some of the latest cream blushes in the beauty world. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing work with the website builder I use to create matildaonvideo.com. This blush edit is just the tip of the iceberg of my obsession, so you can find many more blush references and previous reviews in a blog post. What have we got here? A few launches from slightly further back that are new to me, quite recent arrivals, big names, smaller indie brands. The industry seems to be keen on skincare infused blushes at the moment, made with skin loving ingredients, they'll say. Does that make the blush texture smoother, lighter, sits nicely on the skin? Sure. But does it actually have the skincare benefits they often claim when it's just a tiny dash on your cheek? I doubt it. Just something to keep in mind with the marketing. Liquids, you're up first. One of the biggest new arrivals in what feels like an international airport full of cream blush at the moment is Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer Blush, taking the success of their tinted moisturizer and adding the word blush. Interesting title because this isn't that moisturizing. It dries quite matte, which means it lasts well, but there's no glow. I did spot a tiny bit of fine glitter up close in Coastline. It's called Cappuccino, but it's warmer and toasty like toffee. If you fancy something juicy instead, Say Beauty's Dew Blush delivers. I swatched the deeper terracotta shade Spicy in my recent Sephora haul, but I also picked up Peachy, a very light peach pink. The texture is a water-based gel that feels smooth and suitably dewy, not sticky. This shade is very youthful and fresh, but also surprisingly bright. It's not a delicate peach, more like apricot sorbet, a great pick for summery, glowy cheeks. Milk Makeup's Bionic Liquid Blush is new to me, launched in late 2021 and joined their popular lip and cheek sticks. Beyond is called Plum Berry, a purpley berry that would look gorgeous on deeper skin. This starts out so dewy. It had even separated in the tube, a bit oily at first, but I've read that's normal. Surprisingly, it then blends out to have much more of a soft, powdery texture, while still having a slightly luminous look. Euphoria is the Gen Z digital first viral hit from California with a playful 90s meets Euphoria makeup vibe. Hint for next week's video there. This BYO blush color changing oil is not an alphabet green. It reacts to the pH of your skin to create a unique flush. Often those types of products do just read as a light bright pink on everyone, but it will still look slightly different considering your skin color really like the dewy, non-greasy oil texture. That quartet is looking nice and bold, but let's take things down a notch to show these shades in a more sheer style as well. Now over to the creams. We meet at last Jones Road, Bobbi Brown's new brand. I dug into the surface of this Miracle Balm in Dusty Rose over on Instagram, at Matilda on Video. Quite a few thoughts. It's a lot more sheer than I'd hoped. This is the second lightest shade of eight, so deeper colors might have more oomph. Gives my cheeks a really beautiful luminous finish, more than a tint. And that's saying something on my very fair skin. You don't wanna use much, really pat it into your skin to take away any stickiness. I wish it wasn't a comically big pot. No one needs this much, sort of discourages you from trying more shades, which I would love to because the balmy texture is lovely on my dry skin. Please leave me your Jones Road recommendations. My running 2022 favorites list is already growing. Hello, number one to Chanel Lip and Cheek Balm. Another balmy option with a much thinner consistency. The surface is more slippy, so you can pick up quite a lot of product. It's much more pigmented, but it shears out nicely too. Two, Healthy Pink is a muted medium pink, and three, Vital Beige is a deeper brownie berry. Both look effortlessly cool, patted onto cheeks and lips for a dewy flush. 
If you like shopping with small businesses, meet One Day Beauty from Toronto, Canada, a brand that celebrates diversity and includes their community in product development. Their multi-tints are super creamy, soft multitaskers that have attracted the attention of British Vogue and Birdie, a one-stop pot for cheeks, eyes and lips. Havana is a warm chocolate, really rich and intense until you shear it out. It also comes in rose and rust, my kind of trio. Finally got my first taste of Tower 28 in my last Sephora video. After months of review requests from all of you, I wanted to try Beach Please, their lip and cheek cream formula. Buildable, glowy, but not sticky or glossy on the skin, even application and blending. Beach Please comes in six shades. Sunny Terracotta Power Hour here is one of the deepest. Is this formula the best part of Tower 28's range? Please leave your product suggestions below. Finishing with a relatively new shade of a very popular formula, Milk Makeup's Lip and Cheek Sticks are fantastic multitaskers. Love this lightweight, creamy, dewy formula for a balmy glow on cheeks, lips, even eyes sometimes. They launched two new shades last year, including Swerve, described as a buildable terracotta. Compared to Power Hour above though, this brings the heat, a really warm sunburnt orange. I love wearing a lot of blush, my skin drinks it in, but this sort of look is a softer, sheer starting point. How bold do you go? If this barely scratched your cream blush itch, there's plenty more fun to be had in previous content. You can find a blog post on matildaonvideo.com linked below where I've rounded up some previous cream blush swatching sessions. If you're thinking about starting a website, blog, online store, Squarespace has been such a satisfying site to use, not only visually because their website templates are so stylish and minimal, but so are their tools. You don't need to know how to code. If it's time to take the plunge, Squarespace offer a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Thank you for joining me on yet another cream blush adventure. It's an adventure I'm always up for. Looking ahead to next episode, what would you like to learn more about? Any other cream blush subcategories you want me to focus on? Have any new blush launches bumped old favorites out of your makeup bag lately? Let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.